a lot of people keep looking to buy home theater systems right 5.1 channel setups with powerful subwoofer dolby atmos and all of these at a reasonable price tag you people came to the right video zebronix just launched their brand new variant of their juke bar the 9750 pro dolby atmos home theater system and this is something like pretty crazy at this price point it's a 5.1.2 channel system that means it packs like a powerful sound bar with five drivers on board has like a dedicated subwoofer with 150 watt of output and also rear satellite speakers guys best part is they're wireless and on top of that the whole system supports like dolby atmos also so this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video it's like feature packed and loaded so i'm like pretty excited to unbox and shoot to you people without wasting any more time let's get started so a brand new juke bar from Zebronix came in this sort of box packaging. Packaging looks very similar to the previous gen sound bars only L-shaped design. And let me quickly tell you like what's exactly new in this particular model. So last time we got to check out Zebronix juke bar 9700 right. That was only like a 5.1 channel system. You only had like a sound bar and subwoofer. This is an upgraded model to that the 9750 and it's a 5.1.2 channel system. That means along with your regular sound bar and subwoofer you're getting extra sound satellite speakers also rare channel for that true home theater effect so this is what we'll be unboxing and checking out in this video and there you go boys this is how the packaging looks like you've got the Zebronix branding and as i've told you model is zeb juke bar 9750 pro dolby atmos home theater system so without wasting any more time let's get started with the unboxing package opens up like this and as soon as you open it we've got the subwoofer at the top nicely packed and talking about the colors i believe it's only available in black color for now okay initial impression subwoofer feels very heavy in the hand we'll just come back to this in a moment and here's your brand new juke bar 9750 sound bar look at this massive monster guys it's quite big in size and also like quite heavy has five drivers on board three on the front two at the top so for that virtual dolby atmos effect i'll talk about the dolby atmos effect also in this video you've got some controls at the top and look at the whole design very premium i can say covered in entirely metal grill on the front and top you even have dolby atmos mentioned over here and these are your two rare satellite speakers I was talking about and best part is they're wireless so you just need to you know plug an adapter to that and that's it no wires running from the rear satellite speakers to your main soundbar system so that is actually very convenient to use and on the bottom you also have like a quarter inch thread as well so you can even fix it on your stands also to make it floor standing as per your convenience and lastly you also have like a packet of accessories also let me quickly show you what did we get over here you get a power adapter for the rear satellite speakers this is your remote control for the entire home theater system you also get a free hdmi cable as well and these are your wall mounting fixing screws and brackets a couple of cables which include a main squad for the sound bar and a 3.5 mm to rca cable some extra installation stuff and stickers and two AAA batteries for the remote well that's it these are all the accessories we got in the package now let me give you a closer look at the product and talk about the main design highlights and also all of its technical specifications as well starting off with the soundbar the 9750 pro features a super big soundbar that is almost three feet in length and packs five drivers on board built quality is solid most of the body is covered in a metal grill with plastics on the side and the bottom look and feel is nice definitely gives you that premium sort of vibe and has a beautiful piano black glossy finish with Zebronix logo on the left and mentions Dolby Atmos support on the right. Talking about the drivers, the soundbar has three 2.5 inch drivers on the front side and two 2 inch drivers at the top, totally five on board and can produce around 225 watts of output. The controls are also present at the top, convenient and easy to use, quality of the buttons is also nice. You get a power button over here, volume down, volume up and an input source select available. And at the back is where you've got all the connect activity ports. There's an AC in for the main squad, a subwoofer out, optical in, 3.5mm aux port available, a USB port as well and lastly a HDMI port that supports EARC also. Having a look at the subwoofer, here's how it looks like. The design looks pretty much similar to the previous Gen 9500 WS model. Good build quality I'd say. The enclosure is entirely made of wood, MDF I believe, and has a very minimalistic design. You just have the Zebronix logo at the top, the woofer placed on the left, and a bass reflex tuned port on the bottom. 
The driver on board is a decently powerful unit, 6.5 inch driver size and can produce around 150 watts of output. And here are your rear satellite speakers, as I've told you same design as 9500 WS series and best part is these are wireless units that gives you like a hassle free cable management system. Each of these satellite speakers can produce around 75 watts, so 75 into 2, 150 watt surround sound experience. So totally guys, the Jukebar 9750 Pro Dolby system can produce a whopping 525 watts of monster sound for your home. Setting up the home theater system was also very simple, took me hardly around like 5 to 10 minutes and as I've told you offers multiple connectivity modes. You've got aux support, optical and HDMI, ERC, USB, Bluetooth also. So what I'll do is I'll quickly play some music, videos on YouTube and show you how the whole experience feels like. The King Kong of all gaming PCs. What is up guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm like super excited because what I'm about to show you in this video is gonna literally blow your mind guys. Next gen stuff is what I can say. So just two days back we got to check out Nvidia's brand new RTX 4080 GPU, right? And it was like pretty awesome, the technology behind it, the kind of specs it was offering, the performance and everything. So keeping that aside, we will be building a very special gaming PC using RTX 4080. Okay, you guys heard the audio quality, right? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, if you'd ask me, audio quality on this system is actually very good at this price point. I've been using the Juke Bar 9750 for the last couple of days at my home and I was actually like quite satisfied with the whole audio experience and audio performance of this system. I've played like variety of content guys, movies on Netflix, OTT platforms, web series and even YouTube videos and it was actually doing like a decent job. So in this whole 5.1 to channel experience right that sound bar is the main heart of this system it's got like five drivers on board and that itself was producing around like 225 watts of output pair that with a powerful 150 watt subwoofer there's nothing less you can expect over here for this price point the mids were crisp and clear vocal clarity was nice with minimum distortion and frequency separation is also good it's got a frequency response range from 45 hertz to 20 kilohertz and treble response is also pretty good high frequencies were doing a good job the whole system was producing like a smooth treble with minimum harshness though i do have to mention out of the box i felt treble was slightly a bit on the higher side but good thing is the whole system also offers you like a eq adjustment option directly from the remote you can directly adjust the treble level and also the center speaker level and subwoofer bass level also so you can completely tweak and tune it as per your convenience that is definitely a plus point and apart from that you do have a couple of eq modes also directly preset on the remote you've got like music mode movie mode news mode is also there and a uh, sports mode i believe so you can easily switch between these modes depending on the content that you're watching on your system now apart from that if you talk about the base now this is something i have to talk about guys base is like very well highlighted over here all thanks to that powerful 150 watt subwoofer guys dedicated subwoofer it was producing like pretty solid base with good punch over there and had that nice low frequency rumble especially when you're playing like game on this system right and maybe you're playing like fps games with a lot of gun firings and bomb blastings you'll thoroughly enjoy the experience on this system the overall dynamic range was good and audio output was also like pretty loud and satisfying as i've told you it's got like 
525 watts of insanely loud output and i actually couldn't use that much of output guys for basic home purpose na i was using it only around like 10 to 15 volume level you can go up to like 40 that is the whole capacity of this system distortion was also like very minimum even up to like 85 percent volume level and you'll be like pretty pleased and satisfied with the overall experience over here especially for that price tag now let's talk about the main part how is the whole 5.1 channel experience dolby atmos effect and the rear satellite speaker performance as i've told you guys there's nothing much you need to do for the rear satellite speakers as soon as you power on both these things they automatically sync connect and they're good to go out of the box only thing you'll have to keep in mind is you'll need to have like a separate plug point for those rear satellite speakers because it's got that power adapter right so that is one thing you'll have to manage but apart from that uh, some people might also have a question like you know because they're wireless satellite speakers uh, does it have any sort of delay or anything see delay will definitely be there it's like micro micro delay will definitely be there because it's wireless right the signal has to go from the main source to that wireless unit and then it will has to produce that sound but this delay is like very minimum guys in your day-to-day -day usage you won't notice that much and now talking about the Dolby Atmos effect as I've told you soundbar has like two driver units at the top side and these produce you know reflections from the ceiling and give you that Dolby Atmos sort of feel in a real Dolby Atmos system you have like direct speakers on the ceilings only so it recreates something like that and I've been using it for the last few days right and I watched like a couple of uh, movies in Dolby Atmos and it was doing like a decent job I'd say not as real as a true Atmos system but pretty close to that you'll definitely have a difference compared to your traditional soundbar so that is how this whole system is actually producing Dolby Atmos sort of feel and apart from this, the soundbar also has Bluetooth connectivity, right? So that makes it very easy to connect your phone and play songs on the go just like that. And that is pretty much it guys, our unboxing and video on Zebronics all new Juke Bar 9750 Pro Dolby Atmos Home Theatre System. It's a very good soundbar I'd say, you're getting like premium look and feel, built quality is also good, excellent quality sound especially for that price tag. The whole system costs around like 22,999 rupees, I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below, you can check it out there. And that is pretty much it, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to know everything about this product, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one.